So the question of the day is, do I need to know React in order to build a Gutenberg block? And the short answer is no, you don't need to know anything about React to build a Gutenberg block. The reason why is because WordPress has done a great job of abstracting away React and the foundational tools that it's used to create Gutenberg and it's kind of created its own API that you can use in order to create your blocks. Um, however, I remember back when I was a beginner WordPress developer and I would ask people, oh, hey, how long have you been working with WordPress? And they would say something. Sometimes people would say, oh, it's been a few years. And I would say, oh, that's pretty cool. How long have you been working with PHP? Uh, and they would say, what's PHP? And I was just kind of astounded that they would know WordPress and actually be building things and creating themes and that kind of thing for WordPress, but not know anything about PHP. But the reality is that they just learned the syntax. They learned what an opening and closing PHP tag is and, and all of the placeholders and uh, template tags you could drop into a WordPress theme. And now they can build a theme. They couldn't do anything from scratch. They would use kind of a, a starter theme approach, um, but that was, that was all they knew. Um, so really thinking about Gutenberg development, do you want to be that Gutenberg developer that doesn't know React? Uh, there's those foundational tools that if you just knew them, you'd be able to do so much more, um, but without kind of understanding that technology that is underlying Gutenberg and how it works, it's gonna limit your ability to create Gutenberg blocks uh, and limit your imagination and what you can do with Gutenberg. Uh, so that's why I think it's important. Um, so what what is React? Uh, React is basically uh, Facebook's view library. So you basically pass a bunch of properties down into a view and the view will get rendered. And, and you can pass in uh, things that will allow you to kind of make that interactive as well. Um, but that's basically what Facebook's view library is. So you want to you want to know that. And because of the way that you traditionally would make React components in ES6, you would also use something called JSX, um, which is kind of a syntax that uh, Facebook created for React. So you want to learn more about that. And React has some great docs um, if you just go to the React documentation on JSX. Uh, the other thing you'll probably want to learn more about is also Redux, which is a state management library um, that is commonly used with React. Um, WordPress uses that behind the scenes for its data store, uh, uh, for its state management. And so basically these two things working together, when something happens, when you make uh, a change in the editor, it triggers an action that goes uh, through Redux and essentially updates this state for the editor. And any change in state for the editor will come back to the React view layer. And because those properties uh, that are being passed into that view have changed, it will re-render uh, the component uh, in its new state. Uh, so that's basically how those kind of two pieces kind of come together. Uh, so I'd recommend that you learn those for sure. Uh, 